Welcome back to Nevpo Model Making and part two of the uh, Ducati Super Legera V4. And in this part, we're going to uh, make a start on the rear damper. So it's the uh, model parts. Uh, the page over here, so the cage that holds everything together. And it it's on the back of the, uh, the engine. So that is the plan, and we've also got some uh, diesel up parts. So these came from the uh, exhaust diesel kit, and you can see we've got some resin and uh, metal parts to build up. And as usual, it misses out a couple of uh, details for these uh, kits. So basically, what we got is the resin part that. The top, I don't know if it comes through, but it's got all the uh, thread. So it's on the real bike, this is a tensioner. And the, uh, it's a little brass thing fits on here. Little bits of uh, dots of things fit in there. Um, we do know these models you usually get uh, a bit with a spike that inserts into uh, the model part where there's a couple of rubber grommets. Um, well, I didn't mention that at all. The instructions. So what I've done is drill the hole in the bottom that fits that in. So then we would be able to get the, uh, the spring and everything to line up from there. So uh, I'll glue that on as well. So I have to glue some basic bits together. That just comes in two parts. Glue them together. I've got the spring. It says don't uh, paint the spring, but I might paint it because it seems to be the same colour as all these on the pictures I've seen. And so this is the uh, turn brass part of the little reservoir. And in the end of that, I've got one of these two tiny little uh, rivets. So they're supposed to go in the little hole in the end. So that's gonna be fun. So that's what I'm doing this, uh, this part, is uh, building up the rear damper and uh, we'll uh, fit it to the engine, if that's what the instructions uh, tell me, I think they did. So uh, what we'll do first is uh, prime everything, and uh, we'll come back with uh, some painting. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, that's got all the uh, parts uh, primed. So you use the uh, gloss black by UMP again. So what we'll do is, is uh, most of this is going to be uh, the flat aluminium XF16. Um, I think a couple of bits, these little plug-in bits are uh, silver, with one of them's got, uh, I think it's clear orange. Anyway, I'll double check that one, has a clear colour painted over the top of it uh, to give it a different colour. So what I'm going to do is paint all of those. That's aluminium, like the silver, and then we'll come back and uh, just double check what, uh, what colour that's supposed to be. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so that's got all the uh, pieces uh, painted up in the uh, flat aluminium. Let's bring everything. As I said in the uh, previous bit, the, the, the instructions say don't paint this. But on the pictures I've seen, it's uh, it all seems to be the same sort of uh, matte aluminium colour. And these painted in silver, and it's uh, clear orange on the bottom one. So what we'll do is we'll put some things together. So we'll start off with the bottom of the damper. So again, all flat aluminium, this is the uh, metal part that comes with the kit. And we'll just paint the cap there in um, semi-gloss. Put the uh, spring over. It goes that way around. Let's go that way around. Just check this bit here. Yeah, go that way around. 
nice part. Bits and like that, so some screws to go in, which I'll take out in a minute or two. And then, let's see, these will go on the top there. So we'll do, I'll just pause there for a second, then we'll find the screws that hold this together. And then we can start putting some uh, more bits and pieces together. Okay, so the screws we need are... They're all black. Yeah, they're all black screws, so two short and a long. So two four millimeter ones and a six millimeter ones. These pictures usually match up to the size of the screw, so you can tell which screw it is they use. So I'll say we'll uh, let's get those out. So they're all on the bottom there. So we'll give it a sec, I want to film this because it's not the interesting thing. Uh, back in a sec. Okay, so it's the uh, screw sorted out. So, so we've got two short and a longer one. So, I'm just start off with a longer one which goes Lined up so it'll go through. short ones goes in the top This part goes over there like that. So again, that's a short one. To drop it, then your little screws disappear somewhere. Go on, better drop in things. So that's the, uh, the mechanism. So that fits when we finished it on the back of the bike. So in that position. So it attaches on a bit tighter. So I'll come with that in a sec. So we'll just pause there for a sec. So I'll need to get a bit of CA glue. Get my big readers on so you can see those. Let's see if we can put everything together. And then there's a little decal that goes on this part. So we'll get all that, all that together in the next part. Okay, let's cut the two little uh, buttons in. Basically snip them off and uh, a bit of CA glue pop them in. 
So, so we can get the uh, reservoir. So again, a little bit of CA glue. So we'll let all that dry, and then see so we'll come back and do the uh, the decal, and then just turn little things to stick in the end over there. So that was our camera, but uh, that doesn't seem right. But anyway, we'll see if it disappears in uh, construction of things. So anyway, that's, that's all the gluing for that part done. <coughs> but I've already attached it to the model, but we'll uh, say we'll come back in a minute, uh, put the decal on, and then uh, stick it on the engine. I don't want that to dry. So if it is wrong and disappears, I've got a spare. Okay, but I want to do the uh, the decal. Okay, it's moved on a little bit. Um, space fit to the so we pass the top there on the cylinder and put the decal on. On there and uh, do a little bit of a panel line wash. On there, so that is ready to fit onto the engine. So the back of the engine there's these three holes and just check the orientation to spare with. So it made sense, but the uh, base of the line bit goes at the bottom. There we go, that's fit on the engine. So that's where we uh, attach this swing arm in some way, we'll find out later. Okay, so that's uh, part two done, quick little part. Just building up this part to fit in its engine. And, uh, okay, so that was part two. So part three should be up fairly soon. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe, leave us a comment, I do get back to you. And uh, I'll see you in the next part.